So a little bit about how wireless HD functions, and then I'll get to some usage cases, and then we'll take some questions shortly after. Uh, how wireless HD functions. Uh, we talk about two classes of devices. There's a coordinator device. Uh, naturally, in consumer electronics, we're now talking about a network where many devices are trying to communicate for the first time. So some device must operate as the coordinating device that establishes the rules for how that network works. And then the other devices uh, of any kind can be a station, uh, which you can have a link between a station and a station, or between a station and a coordinator uh, for a very high speed link. Uh, so for example, if you want to transmit uh, or transfer video from a digital video recorder to a DVD recorder or player, that link can be managed and created through the coordinator facilitating that special link. To give you an idea of how that works, the coordinator, when all the devices on the network are turned on, initially all of the devices are attempting to recognize each other and there is a hierarchy based on capability of each device that allows for the device with the most capability or most suitable capability set to become a coordinator to say, I will be the, the coordinator for this network. And then that device coordinates discovery among the different devices and capable exchange of information about their capabilities. So if one device can only play content, another device can record content, and another device can present content, the coordinator can facilitate linkages between those sync devices, a record device, where suitable. It can also manage the security protocols and the routing of video or audio around the network as appropriate. And that will be clear in a moment when I highlight the usage cases. And then as devices uh, join or leave the network, the coordinator manages to maintain a record of who is on the network and who is not. 